Hey, it's Rob from nonstopnewyork.com. I just got off the subway and I'm on my way to catch the Bolt bus which will take me from New York to Washington DC. A lot of people new to NYC or planning a trip to visit here don't know how cheap, easy, and quick it is to get to nearby cities like DC, Boston, or Philadelphia. The Amtrak can get you to DC for as little as $50 in three and a half hours. And bus companies like Megabus and Bolt Bus can get you there for $15 in 4 hours and 15 minutes. I just bought my one-way ticket to DC two days ago on BoltBus.com for $17. The cheapest Amtrak ticket available at the time was $150. So I'm saving a lot of money versus taking the Amtrak and today I'm going to show you how you can do the same. This is how to take the Bolt Bus. The pickup point on my ticket is 429 11th Avenue. That's right across the street from the Javits Center in West Midtown Manhattan. Once you get there, you'll see they have lines and waiting areas on the sidewalk separated by boarding group for each city that Bolt Bus goes to. Bolt Bus does boarding in groups just like the airlines. There's groups A, B, and C. I'm always in group A and the secret to always get in group A is to sign up for the Bolt Bus Rewards Program. I don't even have any special reward status or anything. I literally just signed up and then right away all the available tickets said Group A even if I was only buying one day in advance. It's free to sign up so make sure you sign up for the Bolt Bus Rewards program before you buy your ticket. They start the boarding process 15 minutes before the scheduled departure time. When they call your group you head over to the bus, you put any large luggage in the luggage compartment. Then you wait in line for the driver to check your ticket, which you can have either on your phone or printed out on paper. When you get on board, there's no assigned seating, so you can sit anywhere. One tip on picking your seat is that on some buses, all the seats don't have outlets, so make sure you watch out for that when you pick your seat if you think you'll need to charge your phone on the trip. Once you're on your way, the bus goes direct to DC without any other stops to pick up more passengers. Sometimes the driver will make one rest stop about halfway through the trip. On the way to DC, we stopped in Delaware. At this rest area, they had a Starbucks, a Popeyes, and a couple other fast food places. So the biggest downside to Bolt Bus is that you're vulnerable to traffic. During my other trips on Bolt Bus, it's always departed and arrived on schedule, but this time there was a heavy rainstorm on the way down and an accident on the interstate that we had to detour around, and so our bus was late getting into D.C. When the bus does arrive in Washington, D.C., it pulls right into Union Station, which is a great location where you can connect directly to the metro, easily get a taxi, or walk to nearby destinations like the U.S. Capitol and the National Mall. I also have a bunch of other tips on taking the Bolt Bus, like how to find Bolt Bus's famous $1 fares, and how to watch the free onboard movies on your device. You can find those in my free guide to taking the Bolt Bus over at nonstopnewyork.com slash boltbus. So make sure you check that out. Thanks for watching and let me know what questions you have.